you played for the Knicks for, for a season, you played for the Pacers, you played for the Bucks. Um, firstly, you played for the Knicks in probably the best season of my lifetime's history where they won 54 games, and right now they're 4-10, uh, and 10, kind of trying to figure it out. I, I just first want to say, what was it like to be on a winning team in New York? Crazy. I mean, if there was a if there's a place you want to win in the NBA, I'd say New York. That's there's no better there's no place like it as far as winning and you know the culture. The city loves basketball, so you know everywhere you go, whether it be restaurants, movie theater, the actual theater, um, you know life gets a lot better. You know the city takes care of their own, especially when especially when they're winning. So it's fun. This is a team that right now again, like I said, struggling, but you know you you, you kind of seen the decline since that great year mm -hmm. in thirteen. Um, what do you think this team can do to kind of rebuild? I think that everyone kind of has all eyes on the Knicks because they're that one team that everyone wants to see be good. Mm -hmm. So what do you think this team needs to do to kind of rebuild and, and be great again? Um, you know, one, I'll start off by saying it's still early in the season. Um, so, I don't know, 10 games in, 11 games maybe. So, I mean, anything's possible. 14. 14 games. <laughs> He's got it. You got it under the game. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> well, 4 10. Oh, yeah, I'm locked in on that number. Yes. 4 10. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, rough start, but, you know, things can change. Um, anything's possible, so stay stay positive, Knicks fans. Um, but, you know, what what can they do? I mean, continue to chip at it. You know, they have, I think they have the right idea by bringing in these type of guys um, from Taj to Morris to, um, I mean, just go down the list. I don't want to forget names, but they have really tough minded guys as far as being able to. For me, I think playing in the city um, requires a certain type of player, a certain type of mind frame. Um, you know, whether it be the elements, the media, um, you know, what it is to, to be a part of that Nick brand. I think it's very tough to play in that situation. I think they got the right type of guys. And then it's just about Joe. It's about, um, you know, the system and guys that fit the system and being able to play together. And, you know, some guys may be great in other situations, but may not be great together. Um, so they just have to kind of figure it out, like keep this guy, move this guy. I mean, that's just the way basketball goes. And I think it'll work itself out. They have a, they have a good, they have the right idea though. I think they're on their way. So you get an opportunity to play with uh, Carmelo Anthony, obviously making his big return last night. Uh, yeah, dope to see. Yeah, cool to see. Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you think about Melo as a player, like playing with him? What was that like? Uh, super cool. I think he's an underrated teammate. Um, for me, it's, it's uh, I hated to see some of the negativity I, I would see. Um, as a guy, I'm, I'm a big mellow guy. Um, he's one of my favorite teammates. Um, it's great to see him back on the floor. Obviously, he deserves it. You know, he's uh, one of the greats, and I just hope that he, you know, has a caps it how he would like to. Um, whatever that means for him, and maybe playoffs, and maybe championship. Um, I just wish him the best in whatever he decide, whatever mm -hmm. he's pushing for. I just think storyline wise. Um, whether it's LeBron, Steph, um, the Warriors even, just like there's so many storylines. Mm -hmm. what, what, what do you think separates the NBA from, you know, Major League Baseball or the NFL? Like why, why does it, why does it, the top of the storylines? And then, you know, more obviously recently too. Oh, the coolest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it is the coolest, let's be real. Oh, yeah, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that. the best like, week. That's the pre game, the pre game outfits, the fashion, like Russell yeah, and Westbrook yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. You guys all got like all personalities that, that fans can like relate to and, and attach to, or mm -hmm. sometimes they don't like a certain player, but it's still like engaging with the fans, you know? I think that's part of it. I mean, it's, it's marketing. It's, you know, players, I think, um, and NBA do the best job. When I say the coolest, I mean it in a way, and the fact that players do a better job of marketing, marketing themselves, I think, in the NBA than more, more so in other leagues. Um, for one, for two, um, maybe biased, <laughs> but I feel like um, our sport um, is the balance of stars, actual team play. Like if you look at hockey, which is a sport I respect a lot, it's it's like very very team oriented, orientated. You know what I mean? So. Like it's, you can't really, you have stars like Gretzky, et cetera, but um, it's not as common. So you, if, you're, if you're a person who likes to see the superstar guy, if you're a person who likes to see the team like Spurs or um, likes to see coaching, like we kind of highlight all facets of an actual sport. And I think we're, we're one of those leagues that, do, that does a great job, not only doing that here, and then also you add the global market. You know, we have guys, um, I have things overseas that are kind of connected to the NBA. I think it's, you know, it's just, a big marketing platform and there's so many different you know uh, ways to push it out push out the sport there's so many things going on with basketball as opposed to other sports that they just can't they can't really compete 
do, with storylines. Mm-hmm. And you were saying before, like about um, about players like Melo, like the superstar of a team. You know, the second they don't perform, obviously the fans kind of run the league, right? So the second they don't perform, last year we saw with LeBron, like everyone was saying he's he's done. He's not the best player anymore. Last night he he's the first player to reach uh, to score what a triple double against all thirty teams. Yeah, yeah, right. So yeah. all of a sudden opinions change when you say like as a player. Um, you know, do opinions come into the locker room a lot? Like, do, do players see uh, it? Happens, it depends on the guy. Some guys care, some guys don't. It's really as simple as it's, it's, um, some guys will come in and talk about, you know what Skip said last night? And some guys, you, you'll bring it to them and they'll look at you like you're crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's like, <clears throat> it really, really depends. I, I believe LeBron hears everything. <laughs> and, that's, and I think that's something that, um, you know, you, you see the hashtag Wash King, like, he's showing everybody. And he heard everything, and he's trying to prove everybody wrong. I think he's the best player um, in the league today, and I think he's the best we've ever seen. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's, between, that's my opinion. You, you were in the East at a time where like LeBron was kind of the nemesis mm-hmm. when he was with Miami, which is kind of the time that everyone looks to LeBron as, yeah, you know, you know how it is. Mm-hmm. From a public standpoint, so what was that like, like going into Miami? Um, and playing against the Heat, like, did you feel that as you know, as players, even the the energy was crazy. Um, I still remember the intros. Um, the intros were dope. We used to go there, and it was uh, that rock song. I forget the name, but it was um, I think the I don't want to remember the name of that song. The Heat is on. No, it was um, <laughs> the Stripes or well, oh, oh, Seven, Seven Nation Army. Seven Nation, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah, good song. That's the one. Great song. They would come out to that, and you feel the crowd sing, sing along to it, and it felt like honestly, like I was in a college atmosphere just because of the energy. Um, so you know what time it was every time he went out there, um, and then you had to play. I mean, they had a squad. It wasn't just him. You know, Bosch was special. Dwayne, you know, you go down the list. You know, they had that. A really great team for years, and um, it was fun playing down there during that time. What's your favorite place to play aside from MSG? Um, outside of uh, Bangers Life. Shout out to my people in Indianapolis. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Hannah the third. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hannah's yeah. here. She's from yeah. She's right. from Indy, so she's okay. she's gonna love that answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bangers Life. No, but that's and that's serious. You know, talk about basketball towns like. Um, you know, New York, obviously being from Jersey, you know, I hold New York in a different light, but, you know, Indianapolis is one of those basketball places, too. It's the Hoosier State, and, you know, just similar to a New York, they know their basketball. They're, they're very passionate about it. Um, so that energy is very, you know, when you're winning in Indiana, you know, it's, it's a very similar feel, too. And I was fortunate to be on some really good teams there um, where the people were really, really behind us. and. Um, so I'll say Indy, yeah, Indy was my second. Right. Lastly, your last year you played Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. So you know Giannis. Mm-hmm. What's he like to play with? Uh, he's special. He's special. Different. He's he's gonna he's gonna control the league real soon. Yeah, yeah solid. Great. I've been really appreciate all your time. You. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank Great. you so much, Chris. We appreciate Great. it, man. This is fantastic. Thanks so much, man. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. All this, season. Yeah, let's go. First interview of the off season. Chris Copeland, Mike Goodkind, Rob Murphy. Thank you so much for for watching. We'll see you guys next time.